I was standing on the Golden Gate Bridge with the intent to jump and die that day. And on the trip getting to the Golden Gate, I had made a pact with myself, much like many suicidal people do, that if someone saw my pain and asked me if I was okay, or something close to those words, I would have told them everything. The question is who would have listened, but that's not where I was. If someone had said something to me like, are you okay, is something wrong, can I help you? I would have told them everything. And hopefully they would have helped me not jump off that bridge. But this woman approached me and as I thought she was gonna be my savior, she said, will you take my picture? She had, you know, very big thick sunglasses on and I'm assuming the sun was in her eyes. And, and she could only see beauty on that bridge, which is understandable, it's a beautiful p piece of work. Um, people come from all over the world t to see its beauty, I get it. Um, I was there because I thought I was a bad person. And I was there because I thought I was a burden and I had to die. Uh, and as she walked away with her camera, the thought that crept into my mind was, reality is everybody back at my house, my dad's house, my mom's house, my immediate and extended family, people I barely knew cared. They all cared. No one wanted me dead but my brain, which was trying to kill me while I was trying to stay alive. And at the millisecond, at the millisecond that I hit free fall, I said to myself, oh my God, what have I just done? I don't want to die. Listening, listening Take me back to where I was Take me back, back to where I was